Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars and welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Yes, Weird Ass Wednesday. Weird Ass Wednesday is back. It's becoming, I wouldn't want to say it's becoming one of my favorite days of the week. I have to learn stuff on Weird Ass Wednesdays because I don't know any of this stuff, but I got a cool guitar for you today. It's something I think you're going to like. It's black. Ooh. It's a good start. Jimmy yeah. Page kind of used something like this, which is a really good start. But you guys come back see what I got for your Weird Ass Wednesday this week. This thing is from 1958. This is an original Dan Electro U2 in original black finish, two lipstick pickups, and of course the Coke bottle headstock. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Pretty close to the Jimmy Page guitar. About a year off on the production level. Um, let's talk Dan Electros. Dan Electro kind of started in the 40s uh, as an amplifier company. And once you get into the early part uh, of the 1950s, I want to say around 53, 54, they started building some solid body guitars. Um, this is a U2, uh, which is the two pickup version. Uh, they did a U1 as well with a single pickup, and they also did a U3 with uh, three pickups. This is the U2, which is kind of the most popular model. Um, first, let's talk, uh, let's talk construction, because these things are kind of funny. Um, these are made from like a poplar frame, and then the top and the back is what's called masonite. Masonite is kind of like a pressed particle board kind of thing. They take wood pulp and they put it in water and heat it up and it turns into this dense, hard thing. And that's what they make it out of. It wasn't picked for its tonal properties, but it was picked because it was cheap. They can make guitars quick out of it and uh, ship these out. Most of these kind of went to the department stores. You had the Dan Electros, then they also made similar models with a different moniker called Silver Tone. They also did some stuff for Airline. They all just went to kind of different stores. Um, so yeah, they're Masonite kind of pressed uh, board bodies, uh, poplar necks, and then of course a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Uh, go figure. Um, what's really hip about these are the pickups, man. These what we call the lipstick pickups. Uh, also because they were cheap, uh, around that part of the uh, 50s, they bought a lot of surplus. These were actually military lipstick tubes uh, that were surplus left over from the war, I guess, that they got for really cheap. They decided to start building their pickups inside of these, um, which is kind of pretty cool. They're one of the great pickups of all time, obviously because of Jimmy Page. Uh, you hear them on a lot of records, uh, but there's some other guys that played these as well, as well as the baritones and the longhorns. Um, some of the other interesting features, uh, we've got the concentric knobs here, kind of like Fender did on the early jazz bass with the stack poles. You have, uh, this goes for your neck pickup, this goes for your bridge pickup. You got volumes on the bottom and you got tones on the top. Uh, then you still have a three position switch. You got the neck pickup on its own, you got the bridge pickup on its own. In the middle, what's different on the Dan Electros than from a lot of other companies, uh, is in the middle position, these two get wired in series. So you kind of sum their outputs together almost more like a humbucker, a little more output instead of being run in parallel like how Fender uh, wired a lot of their single coil pickups. So your loudest spot is actually in the middle as opposed uh, to a lot of other guitars. But uh, this one shows a little bit of wear, you know, played through the finish, almost all the way back to the wood on the back of the neck. Uh, small little bit of cracking in the finish here or something. Doesn't look like a repair, but still has original tuners, got a period correct case. What do you say we go plug it in? Let's see what this guy can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1958 Dan Electro U2, original black finish with the stack poles and uh, lipstick pickups. We still got the Friedman set up from yesterday. Why not? It's one less thing to move. We're doing the uh, small box head through a 212 cabinet. Let's, uh, let's start up on that neck lipstick pickup. Let's see what we got here. <laughs>
into the middle position. Now we got both of those pickups on in series, almost working like a humbugger. Let's see what that can do here. pick up on its own see what that thing can do here the original Dan Electro U2, the two pickup version, two of those lipstick pickups, original black finish. You got stacked volume and tone knobs for each pickup, three-way switch, and of course the totally bitchin' Coke bottle headstock. There's your Weird Ass Wednesday for this week. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars, and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. It's thumping Thursday tomorrow. I was gonna skip it, but then there's something <laughs> so, so rad came in that we just, we have to do a bass tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow for that one. It's gonna be special. See you then. Peace.